welcome back to Joe's Chronicles. For my subscribers, thank you for being here. For my new and returning visitors, hey, how are you doing? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about five things that you should stop buying in 2022. And why you're gonna stop buying these five things is because these things are called, I call them money stealers. Right? So one, first thing would be brand name shoes and clothes. Now, I'm not saying that you have to cut off everything that is brand, right? Especially if something really does take your fancy and you're like, you like this, it's a quality product. And you know, you see if the one's buying whatever. But you cannot tell me every single thing you own every piece of clothing and shoes is a brand name item you are basically freely advertising this company are they paying you for that no why are you giving up so much of your money to this one entity that really does nothing for you actually you do much more for any company with a with a logo because you're the one who is selling and advertising their product for free well not free you actually paid a lot of money in order to advertise their product for them so think about that tip two don't get me wrong i love a nice bag but the last few years I've realized that it does not make sense buying and owning 5, 10, 15, 20 bags. At one point in my life, I actually owned, this is more about shoes, but at one point in my life, I owned about I think it was like 23 pairs of shoes and that included Timberlands, different high heels, boots, um, sneakers and out of all those shoes I only probably wore about five pairs of them. The rest of them dry rotted. So please have a quick think about what you're going to purchase for this Christmas season in 2021 and what you're going to be purchasing in 2022 when the sales comes about. Do not, be honest with yourself, do not purchase um, shoes and bags that you do not need. At one point in time, I probably own like probably seven to 10 bags and I did not use any of them on a consistent basis. So these things I end up either selling or giving away. It's just a waste of money and it's money that could have been put aside for something else, for your house, future house, for your future business, but just for something else, right? So my tip for purses is to buy two or three really awesome purses um, purses that are of really good quality they can be expensive once you save up for them I don't see a reason why a person cannot buy like an expensive product if they save for them one if the quality of the product is good too and if they would be actually making use of the product I have no problem with buying expensive things once they are of optimum quality and you're going to be using them continuously the third thing that can that is a money stealer is buying expensive groceries and what I mean by buying expensive groceries I mean buying brand name groceries that they are probably even better alternatives to them like the alternatives probably taste better but because you are so used to these 
are brand names being pushed in your face on television probably on youtube probably in the supermarkets when you walk by because you're used to that some persons are very well one some persons are lazy to try out new stuff and two i would put myself in the second category sometimes i am scared to try new stuff because i i am afraid that it tastes bad and that i would have wasted my money but and my husband has helped with that um he likes to purchase new stuff and try new things and that has really helped me because i'm learning to come out of the shell of you know even though you buy something and it's not great or as you expected at least you've got that experience right so buy different try different brand name stuff and that was a big i guess that was a big issue when i came to jamaica in 2014 and we didn't have a lot of the uh, brand name stuff that we were used to well the, the the supermarket that we went to at the time and we had to look for good alternatives or if they had them here they were much more expensive than a lot of the alternatives about and as a result you had to actually buy a test let's say for a brand name of ketchup or a brand name of sausage or you know a brand name of cornflakes you actually have to try out different things and realize okay this tastes good or this don't taste good um i'm not saying to give up all their brand name stuff but certainly try different brand try different brand names you know to try to decrease that money leaving out of your hand through the grocery because we know through the grocery i think it's the commonest way on a daily or even a weekly basis where you lose money relatively easy the fourth tip is buying expensive stationery so i cannot say that i have not bought expensive stationery within limit that is i'm not one of those persons who bought and buy the fanciest of pens or the fanciest of this or the fanciest of that i love fancy stuff but i also i've also been money conscious for a very long time and uh, although i enjoy expensive expensive stuff i prefer quality over expense so there are a lot there are literally a lot of alternatives to the to the custom name brands that we know all right so this name brand is rsvp and rsvp being cheap is about three let's say almost four hundred dollars with tax here in Jamaica. this is a i started working and i realized a few things when you're working although you want pens that last long a few things that happen when you're working one somebody will just steal your pen outright steal your pen because they realize either their pen goes missing or the ink ran out two somebody will borrow your pen and forget to give it back to you three your pen might stop writing and the ink is even more than half there just stop writing and it really hurts when you pay like four hundred dollars for a pen and it's stop writing especially if you buy them in a box or something like that although if you buy them wholesale um you tend to get it at a cheaper price um this was i'm showing you this was a piece of stationery that i bought um it's called the twisty race 0.9 pencil pencil i absolutely love this thing i cannot remember how much i paid for it but i paid it it was a bit expensive um but i for me it was worth it that this was actually where my name was because i didn't want anybody to steal it um you don't get these here in jamaica i had to order it on amazon and you also had to order the 0.9 tips 
on Amazon. I don't know if Fontana sells it, but yeah, I order my tips on Amazon as well. So I'm not saying not in not invest or have a piece of stationery that you really enjoy and like and as a fair is of good quality that you're not going to invest in one because look all these years i still have this i probably have this about three four years now this is what i started investing in paper made to buy it by the box of 12. um i paid approximately 400 dollars for the box of 12. expensive toiletries how do they steal your money well they steal your money because of course there are alternatives to them speaking about cheaper alternatives but it does not decrease the value right you want something that's highly valuable but also cheaper and there are a lot of products out there that are when you go to the supermarket and you're shopping you have to shop around you can't just stick to one brand so for example if colligate is having a sale on their on their toothpaste and aquafresh is not i will buy not paid for to any one of these companies out here i'm faithful to the ones who give you the best quality for the lowest price so sometimes there's a sale on lux sometimes there's a sale on lashore you buy whichever is giving you the best for the lowest price and that's what you want to focus on i did not have a car as a student so i had to be super efficient in the way i purchase things make wise decisions with your time half times you just really cannot go to the supermarket just because you're studying so all of these are wise ways to prevent these common money stealers from stealing your money see you in the next episode